Moeller and McIntyre at linebackers as Berline drops back under pressure. Hammerstein, he tries to throw it loose, but he was down. It was Mike Hammerstein, and then Mark Mesner came in. Got to get a little deeper. Run that option stuff. There's your problem right there. And Michigan falls on the football, and it's first down Wolverines down around the South Carolina 30. Harris broke through. Number 56, the nose guard, got penetration right over the guard position. Grabbed the quarterback. You can see that 56 breaks right through the line. Grabs the quarterback as he starts to pitch the ball. Mitchell couldn't release, pitch it out, and uh, who recovered it, Keith? I couldn't see the number. It was Mark Messner. Messner, number 60. Side. Okay. All right, Sullivan goes in motion. Gail ball dropping back very deep. A lot of pressure this time. Leading the way that time, Mark Messner. 6'3", 245-pound defensive tackle for Michigan. Well, Maryland didn't listen to what I predicted, but uh, uh, Gilball this time is flushed out of the pocket from the pressure inside uh, by Billy Harris, and he's forced right into the hands of Mark Mesner. Minute mark of the fourth quarter, the Badgers with the ball. They trail by 17 points, 23 to 6. Howard, fake pump, now forced out of the pocket, and he is ridden down by number 60 of Michigan. Messner. in trouble and down he goes that's Mark Messner the sophomore from Milford Michigan he is very young but you can see how quick and active he is Gary. the pressure on Messner Scarcelli were there along with Ivan Hicks he did not have a chance you see Gary the from the 40 first down for the Spartans Horse in motion. Here's the end around the horizon, and that did not fool anybody, and in particular Mark Messner. You don't, you just don't run reverses against a team like Michigan. They absolutely contain. They have one man assigned to it. It's very difficult. They try to run the reverse here, a little handoff inside. I mean, faking the ball to White, slipping it out in. Here's your contained people. No way. That's Mark Messner right there on top of it. You almost get the feeling Bo loves to have you try wrinkles. Well, they're trying. They split Jonathan Hayes out to the left and wide to the right, Steve Griffin. And back goes Everett to throw, being rushed. He is hit, and he's going to be sacked back at the eight-yard line by Hammerstein and by Messner. Hammerstein hit him first, and then Messner finished him off for a loss of about 12 yards as the officials placed the ball on the nine. It's third and 11. Carsanos trying to get away from pressure, and closing in is Messner. Number 60, Mark Mesner, from behind, tackles Carsados at the 35-yard line. On that fourth down gamble. Mesner to the far side, Sister to the near side. On the delay, a reverse as Keith Jones does not fool anybody, particularly Mark Mesner. Just weeding in the wings, he'll lose a yard. It'll be fourth down 13. And that's why at times on offense, you can gamble if you have a great defense. Fourth and 14. So go back to the fourth down gamble. It did not hurt Michigan. No. When you have a great defense, you can do things like that because your defense is going to cover for you. Second and 19. Now, Frayne, regular season completed, had the re three receptions for 59, and Clayton runs out of time. He's got by Mark Mester at 11 sacks in the regular season. He's from Heartland, Michigan. And now the momentum is shifting towards Michigan. Second and 15. Hicks is back in the secondary for Michigan. Another fumble, and Michigan has it. Moeller and Mesner were going for it, and Mark Mesner has it. Thirty-nine yards through the air. In the first half, he threw for 189. On the draw, nothing there. Dowell Williams dropped for a loss back at the 46-yard line by Muller and Messner. He now lives in Charlotte, North Carolina, attended high school at Spartanburg, South Carolina. I think Michigan's got it. They do. The Wolverines. 
Immediately recovering, Mark Messner, number 60, fell on the football. Oh, wow. Here's the fumble. Just never did get a hold of it. Sammy Smith never Sammy got his hands on the ball. Never did. He didn't look it in. Michigan has the ball. Blacker wide to the left is Pierce. Nothing going on as Markland is hauled down. Back at the 34 by Messner, who is really having himself a great series. Here's Jim Harbaugh on the near sideline. Brown is split to the left. And Lamb is back to throw in trouble, and down he goes at the six-yard line. Mark Messner fired through and got Shane Lamb, and he was dropped back at the six and a half yard line. And again, that Michigan defensive unit which gave him back in as the tight end. And the Walsh goes out to the near side as a wide receiver. Under pressure, he'll have to take the sack, and it was Mark Messner, his sixth sack of the season. He leads the team in that department. A pure option quarterback, and he's running to his left, and he's going to keep it, get to the 15. He is hit by Neil Simpson, fumbles the ball. It's loose at the 10, and Michigan recovers at the 10-yard line. Tony Lowry took a terrific hit, and the Wolverines come up with a fumble recovery, and it was Mark Mester on the bottom of the pile who got the football, and the Wolverine defense does it again, Jim, and what a thrill that's got. Game. So after the loss, third down and six. Passing situation, perhaps, for Tony Lowry. Straight drop back, gets a pressure from Mester, and he's sacked by Mark Mester, trying to become only the second player in Big Ten history to become an all-Big Ten player four straight years, the only player to do it. Ray Stackwitz, a punter at Michigan State. Well, if you watch this, you'll see he just got by the blocker. One sweep with his right hand, and boom, he's in on the quarterback. Lowry never had a chance. He got by Todd Nelson on that play, and Lowry was sacked in that ring. Crawford, and he is hit immediately by Mester. Mester was in there almost as quick as a snap. See, Mester is only 6'3", 244. The pros aren't sure he's going to be a great prospect, but he just gets off the ball so quick, nobody can block him. Could you permit a quiet day for Andre Risen? Callister will be looking for him. Mesner. McAllister threw it away. Mesner was coming quickly, and he was actually blocked out of the play by his own man, Alex Marshall. Rise into the bottom of your screen. Wilson to the top. McAllister has to look to the air. He was sandwiched by Marshall and Mesner. Loss of about four. Well, under pressure goes down. Sack back at the 11 by Messner. Messner is the career leader in, in sacks and tackles for losses at the University of Michigan. Michigan. This time just fights. That description was good, relentless. He just doesn't want to stop. That concern bowl. That was an 11-yard game that time to the 43-yard line. Good off straight ahead, and this time Gould goes no place at all. That was Mark Mesner, who's the all-time sack leader and tackle for loss leader at Michigan. Well, I think that Mesner's lined up right here to the field, takes an inside slant move. Comes right down, gets that penetration. We talked about that quick. You see that move right there? He's into the backfield right now, and you need help to block this guy. You can't block him by yourself, Gary. He is so quick, Dick. He's not as big as a lot of guys, even though he's 244 pounds. With 4.43, it's a third and 14 for the Gophers. Oh, he's in trouble, and he almost got thrown for a safety by Messner. No, no I think they hit Yeah, him they got him at the two, but I mean, it was close. I'm not sure he knew where he was because he was backpedaling so quickly, and Messner was bearing down and dropped him, and they're going to mark it at about the two. First down now for the Buckeyes at their own 41. 
Fry to Snow. And Messner's Messer. there. Yes, sir. And that is another tackle for loss. He only needed two to set a school record. He needs the one more. Now, here's Mark Messner. Mark Messner. Here he is right now. See him make the move underneath. Now, the guard, in this case, Davidson, overreached in trying to hook him. And he's quick enough to go underneath that.